Hi, and welcome to another tutorial for Jenkins X. Uh, today, I want to talk about how do you specify a different version of a language, uh, in this case, Node.js, if we don't have a builder for it, right? And builders are, just a little bit of background here, builders are what we use to actually run your application through CICD. And we have builders for Python, for uh, Ruby, and a whole bunch of other languages. But you may run into a situation where there is a specific version that you need. So this tutorial focuses on showing you how you may, one of the ways that you may override uh, and specify your own version in your own image uh, in the pipeline. So let's get started. First of all, I have an application here. It's a Node.js application, uh, very basic. Uh, the build pack is JavaScript, which is the Node.js version. However, uh, let me show you a way to find out what build packs or builders we have or te pod templates and see if we have the right version, first of all, right? So my application requires this version based on the package JSON. So let's find out. One of the things I like to do is actually just quickly get all the pod templates, right? Using uh, standard cube control. And you can get a list of those pod templates here, right? So there's Gradle, Go, Maven, uh, Java 11, and a whole bunch of other ones. The one we're interested in is this one today, right? So if I want to find out what image is being used for that, I could say And then that gives me the output that I want. Now I'm looking at the image that is being used there, right? So what I did is I went ahead and downloaded that locally. And so you can see that I have it here now on my machine. And I executed a command. It was actually this command. I wanted to run it and see what version of Node it outputs. So if I do that, it says 11.14.0, not the version my app needs. So what I did is I <clears throat> created my own Docker file and added the right version, then published it to Docker Hub. And the one I have locally here, I'll just execute. Same command, you know, find out just so you see what version of Node it spits out. There it is, right? So knowing that we have the image now in Docker Hub and it's public, by the way, so I just made it public, then we can modify our application accordingly. But what I wanna show you first is, what if we run our application, we import it first? So, you know, this is not on Jenkins X just yet. So I'm gonna say JX import, and I'm at the root of my application uh, directory, just so you know. That's all you have to do. And I'm gonna say, I wanna use my personal GitHub account. So there it is, it imported it. And now, if we wanna track activities, What we can do is execute that command and what you'll see is that it triggers a pipeline. There it is. And this will go through the process. Now, I actually want to take a look at the build logs. So JX get build logs. And based on my build here, it looks like uh, master 12 is what I want to be looking at. So I want to show you that without specifying the specific 
uh, builder with the right Node.js image, I, I believe this build will fail, right? And that's what I want to show you here. So let's let's just make sure that the build container build uh, task finishes. It's still running. And let's see the output. And these are all the predefined stages and tasks from the build pack, the JavaScript uh, build pack, which is the Node.js, right? Nothing, I haven't customized anything. Um, so, you know, it, it, we, we automatically go through NPM install and, and all that great stuff. It's actually erroring out now, as you can see but it's using the package json file so as you can see uh, we have a build clean and test these are the scripts outlined so it goes through those and actually uh, in addition to the npm install of course and so that's what we're seeing now so we'll let it finish building and ultimately as i mentioned this will error out because the node version that the app requires is not the version needed So the process has finished and as you can see it did error out uh, it tells me here that version that is running right does not meet the requirements uh, so clearly we're not using the right version of node.js to build this application and and so it failed um, it exited now let's 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 fix this right so we know what we need to do. Uh, I have the the image already published to Docker Hub. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out out of here. And what we need to do is go ahead and I've already done this, um, but I suppose it's worth showing you. Um, create step. And and this command actually adds to the to the Jenkins X YAML file, but I don't want to run that now. What I want to do is I've previously saved it. And so I want to just copy that from my notes and paste it here, right? So what I'm doing is I'm saying, by the way, yeah, we can use the build pack JavaScript, but now I'm going to add an agent image and I'm going to say, use my custom image, which has Node.js 8. And in the pull request build stage, yeah, replace that with these two steps. And all I'm doing is outputting the Node.js version. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Uh, first of all, we need a pull request. So git, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, Let's create a feature branch, right? And so now I have my custom builder branch here. I've implemented my change and I'm gonna go and just, we need to check that in. So git add. say git push and of course I have to push to the right branch so I'm gonna set that as the upstream there it is now <clears throat> you can see that we already have uh, a dialogue here that says yep you've made a change let's go ahead and uh, 
do a pull request. So typically I comment, but I'm just going to skip that here. And now the Jenkins bot is going to kick in. There it is, right? So let's clear this and say JX get build logs. Now, what I want to do is get the activities for the application so you can see it's starting, right? So there's the PR8, number 14. So I'm going to go ahead and select that from our logs and it takes a little while, right? If your image is on Docker Hub, it's going to pull it. So that's part of the process in the background. And once it pulls it, it's gonna use it to, uh, to, to build your application. So naturally that takes a little bit of time. And so what we're seeing here in this context is, is that is running at this time. Right, so let's let's go ahead and, and let that run. And um, we should see a different output than the error we had before. So that's the goal. I'm gonna pause it for a second and then let this finish and then come back to it. Okay, so we're seeing some activity now. The image has been downloaded. And as you can see, our, our custom message actually ran. There it is. And on top of that, Notice how our custom task also ran, right? So if you look at, if you look at the YAML content, there's our custom task, right? And so that's the task and what we're echoing on the output here. And then the Node.js version. Also, uh, you can see that the task, the custom task is shown here as well. So it succeeded. We should see a Node.js version of eight something here oh there it is you see that so this is how you override uh, the the builder for uh, when you're trying to ensure the right version of a language is used to build your application in Jenkins X uh, this is not the only way the other way is to do it globally and to do it globally you would want to go to our documentation and it walks you on how to create your image and then publish it, then import it, and finally use it in the my values YAML file within this folder uh, and specifying it in there, right? Uh, we didn't do that. We wanted to do it per application. And, and, and so this is the approach that I've just shown you. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to showing you more uh, useful tips and tricks on our next video. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye.